Hello everyone, it's Stephanie, your CSA coach, and it is week one of our CSA shares for the 2024 season. Um, a couple of quick announcements. Pickup is on Tuesdays and Thursdays between 1 and 7 p.m. When you go to the check-in table, check in, they'll give you a crate, go back to your car, unload that crate, and the crate needs to be returned to the farm. You may not take that home. So make sure we talked last week about things to bring with you. Make sure you have a cooler or a big basket or bins or something to unload all the produce into your car. Also, you pick started today, so you'll need a bag. Um, I like to bring Tupperware or harder plastic containers just so that like we're picking strawberries today so they don't get smushed going from the field to your car. Um, there's also at the farm when you walk in and go to the pickup table, there's a share table to your right. That share table is meant for if there's something in the share you know you're not going to use and you don't have anyone that you can gift it to, throw it on that share table. Also, there's some things that people um, might have too much of over the next few weeks, so they throw it there. You're more than welcome to grab. Um, so if you love whatever produce that's in there, grab it and you can have extra that week. So just keep an eye on that share table and remember um, that it's there throughout the entire season. The only other quick reminder is that we have fresh herbs that can be picked. So make sure you bring your shears with you. Um, there was a bunch today on the farm. They're identified with our red flags. All right, so jumping right into this week's share, we have salad greens. Salad greens, I usually like to start with whatever we should be using first, and that's probably what you should be using within the next few days. I keep them just like this. I store them right in the fridge like this. You do not want to wash them until you're ready to use them. So rinse them off, soak them, dry them. I put them in my salad spinner and dry them, and then they're great on salads, obviously, um, as a base for salads. You can also, like one of the things we'll be getting greens throughout the season, you, the way you dress them changes up their flavor. So experiment with different salad dressings or just use like a lemon juice and um, an oil. You can keep it really simple with some very, very simple seasonings or you can use our PDF for vinaigrettes and make your own vinaigrette. Lots of items that you could use in that today from the share. So those are our salad greens kept in the fridge just like that. We also have spinach stored exactly the same way. So spinach is a little bit harder, hardier. It'll last a little bit longer. Um, I prefer to eat my spinach raw. It's amazing from the farm. Um, I like to lightly dress it and add just a couple things to it and just that's my lunch. Um, you can also add it to smoothies. You can add it to, it's really great with um, egg dishes, so frittatas or quiches. You can simply saute it and serve it as a side, um, but spinach is really easy to work with. It's also really, really good with pasta dishes. So you can saute it and mix it into a pasta dish. And I believe there's at least one recipe on the blog that uses, I think it's spinach and radishes in the pasta dish. So make sure you're looking at the blog. Trisha links a ton of recipes that pertain to things within the share that week in our Monday emails. So make sure you're looking at that. Make sure you're kind of going through what we're gonna get and then identifying what you're using and where you're using it. It's super helpful to do that. So that's our spinach. We also have butterhead lettuce. So this is gonna get stored in the fridge unwashed until you're ready to use it. Um, this is a nice treat in our shares. It looks beautiful, really, really good for salads, um, but also really good as a vessel for like a wrap um, or on top of a burger. Um, you could even slice it in half and just serve it kind of like a wedge salad, which there is a wedge salad somewhere on the blog as well. This is stored in a plastic bag in the fridge. If you don't already have them, I highly rec recommend Debbie Meyer green bags. So these work really well to make our produce last a little bit longer. Um, so that's what I'll be storing my head lettuce in. So grab those. If you don't have them, you can get them right on Amazon. 
Next item is bok choy. Bok choy is really good. You can eat it raw. It's most often quick sauteed. Um, you can serve it as a side. You can slice it in half and clean it really well and grill it really good on the grill. Um, you can make kimchi out of it. You can just chop it up and throw it into a salad. So lots of ways to use it. It's a milder flavor. Um, so it's kind of fun to work with. Also really good in stir fries. So that's our um, bok choy, also stored in a plastic bag in the fridge. So this will go in one of my Debbie Meyer green bags as well until I'm ready to use it. Next up is our radishes. And one of the things to note with any of our um, produce that has a bulb on the bottom and then greens at the top, we always wanna disconnect the two. So before I store these, I'm gonna take the radish bottoms off. I'm just gonna snip them, pull those off, store those in a plastic bag in the fridge, and then take my greens, which aren't, like you can compost them if you don't want, but they're edible. So save them, throw them into a um, Debbie Meyer green bag or a plastic bag, and put them in the fridge as well. You can saute them just like you would any other greens, our kale, our Swiss chard, even our spinach, the bok choy. You can saute the radish greens also just with onion and garlic and serve them as a side. If you're not going to use them, don't throw them away. Take them, rinse them off, wash them really good, and start making your veggie scrap freezer bag. So the, the, that makes a really good, like throughout the season, I'll, I'll save my veggie scraps, things I don't necessarily use, um, or I'm not gonna use that week. Throw it into my freezer bag, throw it in the freezer, and when that freezer bag gets really big and there's lots of stuff in it, I will make veggie broth, and it makes delicious veggie broth. So things that you're not necessarily gonna use, throw it into there, and you can use it throughout the season. So those are our radishes. The radish bottoms, super yummy, just tossed on salad. So this would go really well with our spinach. Um, I like to really thinly slice them and toss them on salad. They are delicious pickled and there's, I believe a pickled recipe or a marinated, I think it's a marinated radish, but you can also pickle them. There's a PDF for quick pickling. So you can go to the hub and find that. If you aren't a big fan of the spicy radish, then please try to roast them. And over the last few years, I don't know if it was last year or the year before, there is a recipe on the blog for roasted radishes. So super yummy, try those. You can also grill them. But radish bottoms stored separately from the radish tops. Our parsley, our parsley is best stored and I didn't grab a, a glass yet but take a glass and put some water in the bottom and store it right in the glass in your fridge. So I usually put it towards the back of my fridge so my kids don't spill it over. Parsley is really good just added as a garnish. Um, you can dry it so you can dehydrate it. Um, you can freeze it if you're gonna preserve it. It's super, if you're a smoothie drinker, add a little parsley to your smoothies. Um, parsley is really good for digestive and um, bladder health. You can add it to your vinaigrettes. You can add it to your pasta dishes. So lots and lots of things that you can use parsley for. Um, I usually just take a, a couple of quick sprigs and put them on just about anything we're having or on top of the salad. So in the fridge, in a jar. A couple more items. We have scallions. Scallions can either be stored the same way as our parsley. So I can take a jar, um, put a little water in it and put this in the jar. I usually like to take the rubber band off first just so that they're not compact. Um, so you can store them that way or you can store them in a plastic bag or a Debbie Meyer green bag, but they're stored in the fridge. When you're ready to use them, scallions are really delicious raw, tossed on a salad or on pasta dishes, um, garnishing any, basically any kind of dish, a stir fry, uh, whatever you're cooking that night. You can dry these. So you can take them and throw them in your, in your dehydrator. So that works for preservation. Um, pretty sure this week's recipe might showcase a couple of things, but the scallions I think are gonna be in there. So stay tuned for that. Green garlic is a um, treat in the spring. So green garlic is um, 
a milder garlic flavor. So if any recipe calls for garlic, you can use this. Just know that it's gonna be milder, so I tend to use more. It's stored in the fridge in a plastic bag just like this. You can use the entire thing. So I just chop off the tops, kind of clean it up, rinse it off, and then use the entire, um, the entire plant, even the greens and the bottoms. Wonderful in dressings. Um, I know there's a bunch of recipes that I have made in the past that are on the blog that include green garlic. So if you're on our blog, you can go to the search engine and type in any sort of, like you could type in green garlic and it'll come up with all the recipes that green garlic is included in. Also remember the email that comes out on Monday links a lot of recipes that pertain to stuff like this. Our first you pick were strawberries. So we got to pick you, uh, two quarts of strawberries. These are best stored in the fridge in a colander or something that can drain. I have like a special um, container that has like the colander built into the, the plastic part of it. So that's where mine will go. Do not wash them until you're ready to eat them. Um, they can be eaten raw. They're amazing on salad. Um, your strawberry and spinach salad is really good. So slice up the, the strawberries, maybe grill some chicken and that's a meal, an easy meal. Strawberry tops, there's a recipe for a strawberry top um, vinegar. Do not toss those, save those and infuse your vinegar. It's delicious for marinades and for dressings down the line. Um, obviously any sort of baking, your strawberries are really good for as well. On top of um, like a parfait, on top of granola, on top of cottage cheese, they're delicious added to, just as a side or added to any dish. We also got to pick um, herbs. So when you walk into the herb garden and into the, the raised boxes, there are red flags for the herbs that are ready to pick. You get a small um, bunch of herbs. So kind of walk through and see what's available. There was a ton of mint, there was oregano, there was chamomile, which you're just pick picking the flowers. There were chive blossoms. The chive blossoms are amazing on top of a salad because they're purple, so they're a beautiful color addition to salads um, or a garnish on any dish. I picked mint because I'm gonna make sun tea. So these are stored, I store this in a plastic bag in the fridge. I know they make herb savers that you can use for herbs. I tend to try to only pick the herbs that I know I'm gonna use within a day or two, um, just because they're most flavorful then and I don't wanna waste anything. So I'm making sun tea and I'm gonna add the mojito mint that I picked to that. So that is it for this week, that's our share. If you have any questions or things that you have trouble with, um, things you're unsure of, make sure you rewatch this video and post on our Facebook group. Um, we can help answer those questions and guide you through what to use and how to use it. And I will see you guys all again next week.